Hey guys, welcome back to the Wellen Homestead. My name is Tiffany, I'm coming to you from Michigan, and this is a knitting video podcast. Um, I also talk a little bit about some crochet as well. Um, yeah, welcome back, um, or hello if you're new. It is March 21st, 2021, and I was actually originally going to podcast on uh, last Wednesday, which was St. Patrick's Day. Um, it was my day off, but I, it was so funny. I literally, the camera was all set up, um, I was all ready, my notes, everything was up here. I literally sat in the chair, ready to press record, and I got a phone call from work, and they asked me to come in, so <laughs> so I went into work. And um, But now we're podcasting today, so it all works out. But that was just really funny. Um, yeah, so I'll give you guys an overview of what we've got going on this week. See, it's episode 93. Um, you can find me as The Woolen Homestead on Instagram. Um, the email is thewellinhomestead at gmail.com. We also have a P.O. box, and you can find all of that information down in the drop box um, below here on YouTube. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is finished objects. I've got two of them. Um, works in progress and a little bit of life stuff. I actually don't have a ton of stuff to talk about today, um, but I still wanted to record because it's um, been a little bit now. I think it's been gosh, almost a month now. It was the 28th of February when I podcasted last. So didn't want to go too long. So I'll show you guys my first finished object. It is part of the um, mitten advent garland that I'm making. So this was day three. And it's just a little color work mitten. Oh, that's a mess up. Don't don't even look at that. <laughs> but I just didn't care. <laughs> it's on the back. No one's going to see it. Um, but yeah, it's really cute. You can just put little treats in these. Um, and you can just kind of hang them up in a garland um, during Advent time and use it as a calendar. Um, it is a free pattern. It's by Kathy Lewinsky. And it's called the Mitten Garland Advent Calendar. Um, it uses size US1 needles, and you use um, fingering weight yarn. So I used Knit Picks Palette, which is what was recommended, and I used the colors that she recommended um, as well. So yeah, if you go to her website, it's totally free. Um, you get the basic mitten pattern, and then you get all of the charts for it as well. So now I'm also um, working on the next one, but I'll show that during works in progress. So. Yeah, I really, I really like working on those. Um, they're just cute little tiny mittens and they knit up relatively quickly. So it's kind of nice to have a quick finished object and you don't have to make a pair. So <laughs> kind of works out well. Um, my next finished object um, are the Heel Toe do, -si do Socks by Kay Litton, who's the crazy sock lady. These. So these are my socks um let's see let's see if i can show you guys you can see the pattern the pattern goes right down the middle but it just makes these little chevrons it's really really cute i really love it um i knit the exactly as the pattern says so i did um the leg as the pattern says and this ended up being a little bit longer than i normally do mine um, so I think if I knit it again, I would probably knit it just a little bit shorter, just to my preference. But I wanted to knit it just as the pattern was written, just to try it out. I like I like doing that. Um, it's got a heel flap and gusset, which I love. And I also um, knit to the length that she suggests in her um, in her pattern for the size. And I actually knit it a little bit longer than I normally do, and it fit me way better. So I think I've actually had not been knitting my the foot long enough so I was really excited about that that I can now adapt that into my future socks so yeah um the yarn is mint rain hand dyed yarns in the Hufflepuff colorway so these are my Hufflepuff house socks um I knit a pair for Ethan in the Gryffindor colorway um, a couple of years ago just plain stockinette socks for his birthday so now we have matching ones Oh, and my sock blockers, these really cute, um, it's called like a Norwegian star um, pattern on there. This is from um, Natography, that 
Patricia has an integrity. Um, she used to have a podcast and now she's got a whole farm and everything. So yeah, that is those. I really enjoy them. Um, I did 64 stitches, size US 1. Um, I did these on DPNs on high higher sharps and yeah, it's got a nice twisted rib one by one, which I love that too. So yeah, these are really enjoyable. I actually cast these on in January. I had originally thought I was going to get these done by the end of January. Oh, well, <laughs> I got them done in March, <laughs> but I kind of knew that was going to happen. But yeah, I really, really enjoy these. So very happy to have them done. Now I can cast on some more socks. <laughs> so that is it for finished objects. Um, now I'm going to move on to works in progress. So... One of my works in progress is living in this bag that I sewed forever ago. So fun. Um, I used the tutorial from Hugh Loco. She had a tutorial for how to sew these bags and it came with a little pattern for free. So I did that a couple of years ago and um, I love it. I also made last year, I made a mask out of this pattern. It was so fun, but I really can't breathe with the, um, fabric masks. I have, I have exercise induced asthma. So it's only if, um, I'm like getting up and moving, which as a dog groomer, that happens a lot. So when I'm at work wearing a mask, that's fabric, um, does not work for me at all. So I wear the, um, like the disposable papery ones and that works just fine. So, okay. So these socks are from Opal. And I started these back in September and these are my purse knitting. So this is the yarn. Super cute, super fun. Um, I've got a little DPN holder that was from Simply Serving that Lindsay made me. She also made one that's orange and camo for Ethan. So sweet. And knitting these on Knit Pro Zings. Oop, dropping needles. <laughs> So yeah, that's as far as I am. That's last time I showed, that's where I was at. And I remember I took this when I got my hair done and worked on them there. So yeah, I'm hoping to get um, back to working on these a little bit more. Half the time um, when I am get out, like get home from work, I'm really too tired to knit on anything complicated. <laughs> so but for some reason, I always get this hang up of, well, this is my purse knitting. Why would I knit on it now? <laughs> you know, so I think I just need to cast on some more socks. I think that would solve that problem. <laughs> totally fine. Um, so this is the label. And yeah, so it's from the Smile Line, the Furlish Kite colorway. And the number for it is... <laughs> There it is, 7937. And this is the other, I have finished one of the socks. I love Opal, love it. I kinda wanna get some more. It's just such a sturdy sock yarn. Super fun. So that is those. Um, I'm also using size US ones, um, 64 stitches as well. Then my next work in progress stays in my yarn bowl that my brother-in-law made me and this is my uh, day four mitten for the uh, garland so and it's got the this is the little thumb over here I am doing this magic loop I really actually like um, I actually really like um, doing these color work mittens on Magic Loop versus DPNs. I get a lot of awkward pulling in ladders and things um, when using the DPNs. So very, very happy with that. This is the back. It's the same, it just doesn't have the four. So here, it's got the four on this side. But yeah, I'm really liking this one. I love the colors. Um, I was originally knitting the color work with one hand one color in one hand with the other color and I was kind of slow going on it 
I'm sure if I did it for a bit longer, um, I would have gotten better at it, but I was just kind of, kind of frustrating and annoying. So I went back to holding it the way I had before, which was both continental and then just picking the one that you need. And I'm much faster at that. And I feel like the tension's okay. So I'm going with it. And I really enjoy it much more now that I switched. So, but yeah, this is, um, Knit Picks palette, super economical. Love it. This is the other color that's in it. A little bit of gray in there. And yeah, I've got my other. These are my other ones. One and two. And I already showed you three. So going to town on them. It's exciting. I forgot to tell you guys what I'm wearing. Um, this is the Marled Magic sweater by Steven West. And I've just got a nice... Um, just a long sleeve pink shirt on underneath. So that kind of makes it nice because it is like see through here. It's like netting. But um, yeah, it's so fun. It's kind of like, I feel like kind of like, like flying squirrel, you know, but it's so comfy and so super cozy and I love it. I, I actually wouldn't mind knitting another one of these because it's super super nice um you know it's not it's very oversized it's not tight at all <laughs> i love it i love i love it how it's like wings <laughs> so yeah i love this i try to wear this in the spring and i can wear it get away with it in the fall too but because of all of this it's it's not really a winter winter sweater at all <laughs> unless i'm inside but yeah i love this i would absolutely knit this again 100 percent Love it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Okay, my other work in progress is my Bat Battenberg blanket um, by Sandra Cherry Hart. She has a blog. Um, she also has a YouTube channel. And I started working on this for Scrappy Sunday, which happy Scrappy Sunday. But um, after this last one, I wanted to work on it during the week too. So I did <laughs> and it was awesome and I loved it because I know how to crochet, but I'm not, and it's what I started with, but I'm just not super proficient with it. And so um, every time I would only work on this once a week, I would kind of have to go back and remind myself like how to join them um, using the method that she does. And so I just wanted to kind of practice it more like every day so that way I would um, kind of get it stuck in my brain so I think that kind of helped a lot because now it's much more mindless and I love it but this is how far I've gotten and I started this last year but I kind of stopped working on it for a good while so yeah I'm just making my way across I originally had started doing it um, like this way, like diagonally, but then I decided to switch to doing it long ways. So I'm making my way across, but it's so fun. I'll do a close up so you can see the little squares. But so the, the colorful squares are just scrap yarn, like sock yarn. It's all fingering weight. And then the white yarn is um, from Michael's. It's, I believe it's called wool like. Let's see, this is what it looks like, but it's it's supposed to be a fingering weight, but it is super thin. Um, I remember I actually made a pair of socks with it once and they were too small. Um, I think it's, yeah, okay. So it's a super fine. Um, so it's 678 yards for 100 grams. So that kind of gives you a clue there. Um, but for something that where gauge doesn't really matter, it's working out wonderfully for this blanket. Um, so yeah, it's wool-like from Michaels, loops and threads, super economical for a blanket. So it's working out wonderfully. I've got a bunch of little squares already made up and ends woven in that I can add to it. Um, so that's exciting. That's been like really, really enjoyable um, to just kind of bust out a bunch of the colorful squares and then just to add them in and watch it grow really quickly that way. I really want to work on this now. I really, really like it. There was actually a point, I think, I hadn't worked on it for a good couple of months, and I was like, 
Should I just turn this into like a table runner or something? Like I wasn't sure if I was gonna wanna keep going because with the squares being so tiny, it's like, is this gonna take me forever? <laughs> it probably is gonna take me forever, but now that I'm much more comfortable with how to do it, um, I think I'm definitely gonna keep going because I really like it. So yeah, I'll probably get some work on this today um, since it is Scrappy Sunday. I might work a little bit on my chevron, uh, Brio chevron blanket too by Stephen West because I haven't worked on that in a little while and I don't want to like forget how to do that either. <laughs> so I <laughs> want to keep it fresh, but yeah, I really like this. So let's see what I get to. I have a work party tonight too. So my, um, my store manager is moving, so it's kind of sad. Um, so we're having a little party for him tonight at work. So we'll see how much time I have this afternoon um, to get going on that. So that is it for my works in progress. Um, lately I've just kind of been working on just a couple and I've been enjoying that. It's been a nice way to kind of dip my toes into a couple different projects so I'm not working on the same exact thing all the time um, but then also not working on all of my works in progress and getting like nothing done. So I kind of like that a lot. Um, as far as life stuff, um, let's see, still been playing some Animal Crossing, loving that. Um, love Color Street. I know I've talked about that before. I don't have my nails done for today, which I was like tempted to do it. And then I was like, no, I'm just going to go record before something comes up and I can't record again. So um, definitely still loving that. <clears throat> I did bring up the ones that I plan on doing next. So I thought that would be kind of fun. So. I want to do these two next. So the top one is Giza Sands and the bottom one is Champagne Sugar. And the Champagne Sugar is clear with the glitter. So when you put it over, you'll see the, like, it's kind of a nude color underneath. And uh, it looks darker on the screen here. It's a little bit lighter than that, but it's so pretty. I've seen it done before and I really liked it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next. Love them, love them. Um, but yeah, um, oh, Ethan and I have been working complete opposite shifts lately. It's so crazy. Like we will literally see each other for about five minutes in the day. That's it. <laughs> like he comes home from work, I'm leaving for work. And then <clears throat> some days, depending on when I go in, I'll come home and I get to see him for maybe a half hour. So it's just, it's really bizarre. But, um. Yeah, but we're, we're, we're making it work. It's totally fine. We usually, we have days off during the week together, but my schedule has been a little bit different lately. So once mine goes back to normal, we should see each other a little more. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of funny, but luckily we just were able to talk on the phone, like, um, when he's driving to work and things. So we make it work, but yeah, so he's sleeping right now because he's still doing it overnights. Um, but yeah, other than that, things are going okay. Um, work is very busy, but that's okay. It's the time of year. It's kind of like second Christmas. Um, just tends to be a little bit busier. So I've got, I've got some coffee in this sweet mug. My mom got me this. I think this was last year for my birthday. And um, she got Ethan one as well. His is a tan one. So we love these. Um, yeah. Puppies are good. My, both my puppies are up here. Um, I did their nails this morning. <laughs> They're actually okay with it now because I bought this thing. Um, it's like a little mat. There is a brand called Licky Mat that I was going to get, but we actually stopped selling them. So I just grabbed like the other version that we had. Um, but if you ever heard of a Licky Mat, it's the same type of thing. But the one that I bought actually has suction cups on the bottom, which the Licky Mat does not, I don't think. And so you can, it's like a little silicone mat with ridges on it that you could smear like peanut butter on and you could stick it like in the tub. Um, like if you were giving them a bath or I did it on the side of the tubs for their nails. And so that way they're going and licking the mat while you do their nails. And, um, for Ella, it worked out wonderfully because she usually is kind of dancing around when I'm trying to do her nails. And she was just like zeroed in on that mat, licking it, going crazy. And she just let me do her nails, no problem. I was like, yes, this is the best. <laughs> so, um, 
that was great. Benny, on the other hand, he's always really good for his nails and I don't need to have him distracted, um, but I thought it would be just nice for him to have a little treat. Um, but the poor thing, he <laughs> he was like really excited about the mat. Then I started doing his nails and he just stopped. He was like, nope, just get it done. I just want this over with. So I felt bad, <laughs> but then I let him mess with it afterwards. <laughs> poor guy, but they're good babies. Yeah, it's crazy they're gonna be 10 this year. That's bizarre. Ella will be 10 in August and he will be 10 in December. Um, for those of you who don't know, there Benny's my yellow lab, our yellow lab, and um, Ella is our um, she's a lab blue state coonhound mix, and um, but she looks like a black lab more or less. And they're just so funny, they're our babies, and um, yeah, they're so sweet. Now they're all tuckered out from this morning's nail antics. <laughs> So, but yeah, they love coming up here with me in my craft room when I come to hang out up here. Oh, I just love it up here, and especially this time of year because now it's starting to warm up a little bit. It doesn't take forever to warm up here because they usually keep the vent closed. So it gets, it's really cold up here in the winter. It takes forever to warm up. So it's been enjoyable. Um, hoping to get an AC unit up here. We have one that we can put up here now. We got some extras um, from Ethan's folks and they got, um, they got central air. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> and um, so we're hoping to put maybe a window unit in here if we can make it work. Um, Cause otherwise I can't use this up here in the summer. <laughs> it's way too hot, way too hot, like an oven. So fingers crossed. Cause I love this place. So. Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of just rambling. I um, I did make a few Etsy purchases, I think two as of right now. Um, so hopefully those will be coming and I can show you guys on the next episode what I got there. Um, but yeah, other than my, I got my work party tonight. Um, yeah, just work, work, work. Work's busy, busy, but um, like I said, it's just the season that we're in right now. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, oh, as far as reading, I'm still reading, um, The Duke and I from the Bridgerton series on audio. Been enjoying that. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to read. I'll probably just go on to the next book in the series in all honesty, but I can't remember if there was something else I was hoping to get into, but trying to create more reading habits in my life. I'm really bad at it. Um, I'm curious, what do you guys, for those of you that like to read, what do you guys do? Um, I know I said before, like if I'm sitting, I, I wanna be knitting. So I know I do have, um, I do have a book stand. And so I can I can read from that and knit on stockinette. So I could start doing that more, maybe I will. I have a, stuck in that sweater that I could start working on more and that could be like my reading sweater, you know, so maybe I'll do that. I'm debating on, you know, trying to incorporate reading right before bed. Then I don't know how far I'll get. <laughs> um, or maybe just doing a little bit first thing in the morning or maybe right when I come home from work, that might be an idea. So, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully I can get in some sort of reading routine because I really want to do some more. All right, well, I hope you guys are all doing well. It's supposed to be a lovely day today. I'm so excited about it. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys again and hopefully it won't be too many weeks from now. <laughs> all right, talk to you later. <laughs>